Infowars.com, in association with Sean Stone, has uh, produced a video that's a true grassroots movement against tyranny, modeled after the globalist artificial grassroots movement, Coney 2012. It's Impeach Obama 2012. The video was just released four or five hours ago. It's already gone super viral across the web, and it's posted at Infowars.com in the red link right now. So please help get that out to everyone. In fact, there's a quote at the top of the article. We can only win by launching Impeach Obama 2012. Whether or not we fully impeach him, we are committed to rebuking these unconstitutional and criminal power grabs and are determined to take the case to the court of public opinion, Alex Jones, and it goes through the incredible public crimes that violate the Constitution and law on its face. We'll be playing that video here uh, for the break before we go to Gerald Salente, who is coming up. Moving on to our next story, we have had dozens of astronauts, including many from the Apollo missions, on top of 50-plus NASA scientists coming out and saying that NASA's climatologist needs to stop endorsing books that call for poisoning the water supply to reduce population and things like that, and saying that stop using their names to push carbon taxes and basically lining the pockets of Al Gore and Barack Hussein, the New World Order puppet, uh, Obama. So a very, very interesting report there as the so-called consensus, we were told, by Al Gore, who's a congenital liar, uh, implodes and as their frauds are exposed. So certainly very exciting uh, on that front as justice and reality begins to come to the fore. Now continuing here, we're, we've sent reporters to Georgia and they'll be reporting tomorrow on the radio and on the nightly news. We've sent two reporters to Roswell, Georgia, just outside Atlanta, to cover the, the man who was mysteriously killed, and then the same government trying to take his property for an Agenda 21 eco zone says he blew himself up, just like, I guess, the Davidians blew themselves up. We learned later it was the federal government. Uh, so we're, we're going to be covering this, but it's an incredible example of Agenda 21 and land grabbing. They couldn't beat him in court to get his property and his farm, so they uh, got him the other way. And, uh, well, it's another victory by the predatory government against the American people. Speaking of predatory government, it uses our money and our energy to fund $2 trillion in defense. And Homeland Security is just the military industrial complex run by Goldman Sachs and MF Global and others absorbing America. And you know last year they launched autonomous drones that operate on their own and kill people in any country they want without declarations of war because Obama says he's God. Well, DARPA seeks robot enthusiast, and you can win a $2 million prize. The globalists know how to get the commoners to give them the inventions. They want the technology for an autonomous drones and ground robots who of course will run checkpoints and other things right out of movies like RoboCop where the bankers bankrupt the city of Detroit which they've now done in reality and put giant armored robots on the streets menacing the public. I give you RoboCop 2. Ah uh, yes, things will be a lot quieter with this boy around. That thing is a kick! Shifting away from robots to radiation, the Army's own internal reports show that they believe the still melting down Reactor 4 could be 85 or more Chernobyls. Chernobyl, the U.N. estimates, has killed a million people since 1986 from its radiation. And so one of the reactors, they've already melted down five of the six, but four could completely melt down and be the equivalent, because it's so big, of 85 Chernobyls. But the Army and the media that it controls are not telling you, this is the bankers' military now, to get potassium iodide pills. No, they're just stockpiling it for themselves. Here's the headline at Infowars.com. Army stockpiles anti-radiation pills to protect against Fukushima fallout. Defense Logistics Agency cites ongoing crisis in Japan as reason behind bulk purchase uh, in case Reactor 4 completely melts down to be able to take care of the Army personnel uh, in that whole situation, which is fine, but how about the public? Okay, now let's get into something similar to radiation, GMO, genetic 
death. Monsanto, they gave you Asian orange and other little goodies, who's come out with dozens and dozens of GMO crops that in the major studies sterilize the rodents in many cases and cause organ failure. But they're just mammals. I mean, we're not mammals, so it's not an issue. I mean, you don't test stuff on rats to see what it does to humans because their anatomy is so similar and their physiology and metabolic system. Oh, I guess they do test them on rats because it's similar. Well, but Monsanto cares about us, so everything's fine. Explosive Monsanto knowingly poison workers, causing devastating birth defects. In developing news piece just unleashed by Courthouse Newswire, Monsanto is being brought to court by dozens of Argentinian tobacco farmers who say the biotech giant knowingly poisoned them with herbicides and pesticides and subsequently caused devastating birth defects. Well, they did that around their headquarters in the U.S. They did that with our troops, but they're not doing that now. I mean, these are nice people. After all, and another article about Monsanto, Poland announces complete ban on Monsanto genetically modified maize. And they're coming out just saying, don't even try it. And uh, they break down the fact uh, that uh, in, in different studies, GMO has been connected to these health problems. And so they are completely uh, banning that in their country. Now, I want to give you the daily quote now. And then we will get to uh, our local story that has national and international import dealing with the paralyzation of the city of Austin uh, as part of a PSYOP PR stunt that I think is going to backfire pretty nastily. Um, but uh, that's coming up in a moment. First off, George Washington. Firearms are second only to the Constitution in importance. They are the people's liberty teeth. And that, of course, was the terrorist, according to Homeland Security, George Washington, enemy of America. George Soros, on the other hand, is the true father of America in Al Gore, man, bear, pig, parlance, half man, half bear, half pig.